We are here with the MFC light heavyweight champion, Ryan Jimmo, who, as he promised to us earlier this weekend, busted out some new dance moves after there, some, uh, some big moves there. Thank you very much. And that was after 25 minutes worth. I mean, very, uh, very true to character that you still lived up to your word with the dance moves at the end. I could do the robot if I was dead. That's what we uh, always uh, appreciate from Ryan Jimmo. Let's talk a bit about the fight with Zach Cummings. Uh, this was a fight. Zach seemed to really engage in a lot of clinching. Did that get really frustrating for you uh, throughout the five rounds? Uh, it did. You know, I, I want to stay in, uh, stay in, you know, strike with him a little bit more. Um, and I hit him with some big shots, yeah. man. Holy, that guy, like, I know he's not very built, you know, but, uh, man, I hit him, and, and he's got a chin on him, man. Holy, I, I, after I hit him a few times, I was like, how did that man not go to sleep on the mat after I hit him, you know? And uh, just tough guy. And, and the clinching was a little frustrating, and I, I apologize. I mean, sometimes I've been trained for wrestling nationals, mm -hmm. so I think I initiated some of it just uh, purely out of instinct. You know, I want, I want to test my wrestling out. So I apologize for making the fight a bit boring as well. It has to be my fault as well. Well, you were apologizing for it, but I, I found it was uh, Zach was really engaging in the clinching, and we, we, we saw a lot from you, including uh, near the end of the third round, almost getting an arm triangle and showing uh, just an, another wrinkle to your game. Yeah. Um, you Did know, you come close to locking in the arm oh, triangle? Yeah, yeah. He, he was struggling. He was struggling. He, there, we were pretty slippery, and uh, there was only like 10 seconds left, so um, I think if I would have... He, uh, he he busted out. He was he was. I could hear him breathing, and I could fear, I could hear him like you know, his labored breathing. So um, it was very close to being finished right there. Tell us a bit about uh, engaging in, in more in your wrestling in terms of uh, you were about to go out for the nationals a couple of weeks ago, but you pulled out with this fight coming up. Uh, tell us just how much that's added uh, to, to your game. Oh, I. Uh, a huge amount, a huge amount. I feel like I can go in with wrestlers now and I don't have to worry about them just being, getting dominant position on you all the time. I can defend the takedown and, and beat them on takedowns now. Um, I, I was suspecting, I didn't go in, I didn't compete in the Nationals because of, of this fight happening two weeks later and I didn't want to get injured for it. Um, but I suspected I could have uh, placed top three and I would have been happy with top five in the nation uh, in a heavyweight. So, um, you know, it's just, a, it's a huge skill in MMA that a lot of guys just neglect. Even if they're good at jiu-jitsu, they neglect their wrestling, and it doesn't even matter. You know, wrestling is so important, and I just want to make it a big part of my game. Do you feel that if this fight had taken place in a, the traditional MFC ring, that some of that clinching would have been negated? Do you think that made any kind of a difference in this fight? Um, you know what? Um, uh, that's, that's a pretty often quest, asked question, and, and uh, I, people clinch up against the ropes too. Yeah. I, I don't think it's as prominent. You know, you can't stay there as long. You know, it's, it's a little harder to hold the guy there. Um, but I think it probably wouldn't get it a little bit. They say a ring favors a striker and the cage favors a grappler. So uh, um, probably wouldn't get it a little bit. But you know, the cage and a ring, I, I, I'm rather indifferent to where, where, I, where I had the fight, you know? How do you feel uh, coming out of this fight? Obviously, you, you did take the headbutt in the first round. That will likely need to be uh, stitched up. But uh, how, how do you feel uh, coming out of this fight in terms of uh, how quickly you would like to get back into the ring or cage? Um, I'm going to take a little time off. I, I had the Dwayne Lewis fight six weeks yeah. weeks ago and this. And I had a lot of, like, lot of injuries coming into this fight, you know, like like stuff that I didn't quite give time to heal up from the last one. Um, I, some stuff I, I can't kind of say, but I had some, some, some injuries I didn't let heal up. So um, I'm going to take a little bit of time off, let my body heal up, and then uh, probably fight in September again. That's probably what I'm going to look at So uh, and uh, you know, make sure I'm healthy. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it in my head right now. Like You must have dove right back into training after the, after the Lewis fight, and on top of the wrestling training you were doing, uh, probably putting your body through quite a lot thus far in 2011. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I had to really... Uh, I had to be very careful with my training coming into this fight just because of the amount of injuries I had. You know, like everything was getting injured, especially the first week back. Like I was uh, worried that I wasn't going to make it to the fight. So um, I, I trained a little smartly. I had to pull back my volume a little bit and not do so much stuff like sparring, not to do so much stuff that was ha high danger, you know, and uh, go back to like more hitting, hitting pads and more drilling. Um, but uh, it, it turned out to be okay. Have you been given any indication that Emmanuel Newton will still get his light heavyweight title shot when you're ready to compete? Um, we haven't heard anything yet, so I, I'm unaware of any of that. We're just uh, finishing up tonight, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. Well, congratulations on the victory tonight, Ryan, and thank you for bringing out the robot to Windsor, Ontario. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> See you.